Hello everyone, Dean on the street with my buddy, one of my first guests on the Dean Blackman show, Stu Pollock. Stu, how you doing, man? Great to see you, Dean. Great to see you bumping into you. Uh, half the size, man. I lost 55 pounds since we were uh, together in your studio. Wow, remarkable, remarkable. How'd you do it? I went to uh, I went to a place, a whole program. It was amazing. I feel great. It wasn't just weight loss. I am healthier than ever. Wow, you look great. Thank you. Listen, real quickly, I know you're a big sports fan. Met, I am. How about the Mets this year? I don't, really don't want to talk about the Mets. <laughs> you don't want to talk about the Mets. Islanders, Mets fans are Islander fans I, as well. I am, how about an update on the Islanders? Uh, I'm a huge Islanders fan, probably, probably more so than the Mets. Um, but still waiting for them to sign their superstar John Tavares and get a new arena so um, Islander fans are biting their nails uh, hoping that uh, that gets done okay Met Islander fans are usually Jet fans I am looks a like Jet a, fan looks like a tough season this year it's not going to be a good season I'll get my Sundays back at least because okay. uh, you know might as well not watch them tough season listen Stu's son Jordan Pollock okay brilliant young man that uh, I met just at the same school my kids went to, Ward Melville High School, yep. here in this community, a filmmaker. Yep. Ward Melville has a great department uh, on film. Jordan was one of my first guests too. Yep. Uh, happen an update on what's going on with, uh, with Jordan and his film career. He is doing great. He's living in Los Angeles. He just started his junior year. He's done some incredible work. He's uh, he, he's doing some freelancing, getting paid, um, doing doing just create creative stuff. He's using his creativity, um, making contacts, uh, doing. It's incredible. We're so happy. My wife and I are so proud. You should be. Jordan is a uh, director, producer, writer. Well, well he's creator, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. He's learning directing and screenwriting, uh, cinematography. His his cinematography. His cinematography skills. Uh, have gotten tremendous, tremendous. If, if, if the fans want to look up Jordan uh, Pollock, uh, where would they look? Uh, he has a channel on Vimeo. Um, and if you just do a search for him, I, I, I don't remember how to get there. I just okay. know how to get there. Listen, education, yeah. principal. Yes. Still having trouble pronouncing the name at the school you were at. Connecticut. 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 Long hard, Island, New York. Hard. Elementary school, right? Yeah, that's a school okay. district. My school is Sycamore Avenue Elementary School. Listen, leadership. Yes. Leadership in education. What comes to mind right now uh, with that question? Well, um, you said you wanted to do this in just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. Stu's, Stu's first show on the Dean Blackman show. I looked at it. I looked it up. It was uh, it was about an hour and forty minutes. So Stu could speak for a long time. So you got. Yeah, few, you're, you're you, in my wheelhouse. You, you got you got basically uh, forty seconds. All right. To... Basically, school leadership is all about staying focused on what's important and helping teachers do the best work they can do for kids. That's what it is. Wow. Creating a, a culture for parents, kids, students. And uh, well, students, kids, and uh, and teachers. Well, listen, great seeing you. Awesome seeing you. I know when Sharon Sharon's seeing this, she's gonna tell me I've got to get on your diet because you look great. Best of thank health. Thank you. Thank you. Much success. Feeling healthy. You've a dear friend, dear friend to me, and I want to get you in studio for those two hours. I'll do it again. Okay? I'll do it but again. Look, it was super fun. You look great. Haven't seen you in a long time. Well, well, now that you're doing video. I'm more than happy to do it. Now, you know, there was a picture you took of me, or someone took of, uh, of the both of us after the last show. And that picture was probably the worst photograph of me ever. And that was one of the major motivators for me to lose weight. So you're telling me one of the motivating trigger points for you to look the way you look today yeah. was a picture that was taken of you in my show studio. Yeah, because I remember thinking, thank goodness this wasn't video. And then I said, well, let's do something about it. Hey, Dean on the street, Stu Pollock. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.